you know, here at WQXR, people all, all the time we're having conversations about the future of classical music. You know, it's dying, the audiences are getting older, what's everyone doing about it? And everyone says education, 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 education. We've got to get into the schools, we've got to, you know, and WQXR was something thinking about our role in that. And I, and I, from my own observations, American orchestras are really embracing that. Tony, you know, at the New England Conservatory, and many of his colleagues leading, leading conservatories are trying to think about different ways to educate their students coming into the next, coming to the next generation, what does, what does it mean to be a student, a music student or a music practitioner of the 21st century? I mean, Tony, what does, what does the role of, what, what, what are you doing to, to make certain that your graduates and graduates, other, graduating from other schools are, are, are equipped and manned to educate the next generation of, of I'm very artists. happy to, to answer that. Before I do, I just add a little, a uh, bit of it, extra information to the YouTube Symphony. Mm -hmm. uh, the YouTube Symphony is, in fact, uh, an innovation of the London Symphony Orchestra mm -hmm. in association with Google. And it was that orchestra looking at technology and the use of technology which has forged a new path which we can all learn a huge amount from. I think we can also learn from the London Symphony and their attitude to going into the community and really engaging. And I'm making a big difference here between engaging and doing outreach work. Outreach work is traditional, it's orthodox, it's really to do um, with the passivity of listening, whereas engagement is really bringing people into the organization, having a real relationship with the musician. And at the, at the London Symphony, every single musician signs up to do this work, and they're reaching 60,000 plus kids in some of the most deprived areas of London who consider the LSO to be their orchestra. That's something to be very proud of, and that's something that we can all learn about. Every single musician and the union can learn from that one. To answer your question, what we're doing at, at NEC is really embracing the whole notion that more is expected of musicians for the future. It is no longer sufficient to be able to play wonderfully. You have to have other skills. You have to be able to understand your community and the real world that you live in. The whole philosophy which is uh, embraced by Jose Antonio Abreu, El Sistema in Venezuela, is all about making musicians the apostles of society, the apostles of society, so that we are not there wanting a living, but we're there serving that community. So the, the programs that we have come up with, we give our kids the really the best experience in going out and doing community engagement. Uh, we uh, perform outside of NEC from everything, from, from hospitals to hospices to, to schools, a relationship with the Boston public school system. We're, we're out there touching the lives of around 20,000 people at all ages throughout the year. That changes and transforms the experience of being at NEC for those kids. We have another program which is about musical entrepreneurship which again is giving people the skills to succeed as leaders when they go out there. No longer just playing, but actually being a leader in their community and being incredibly creative as far as that is concerned. I mean, Ray, in, in just, uh, just to stop you there for a second, Tony. I mean, Ray, do you, when you chat with individual musicians, do they, do, I, do they enjoy this work? We don't go to school to learn how to uh, compensate for the failures of management. No, no, don't, don't, just answer my question. Do, 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 do musicians enjoy this work? Do they, do they, I mean, I don't know how many of you have sat in a first grade class, second grade class, third grade class, and seen the looks on a child's face when a, light, when a musician is playing live in front of them, or an ensemble has come in and is doing something incredible. There, there's a there's what, a there's what, a great deal of satisfaction in going in and um, uh, you know creating the excitement uh, in young people and showing them. I mean, that's the way we all that's the way we, we all learned. That's, that's right? how that's we, we got learned. Here, right? You know, we we went to an assembly class when we were in first grade, and you know the uh, what was your instrument, Ray? Well, what was I'm, your I'm instrument? drummer. I'm a drummer. You know, you go in and you see all the music, the all all the instruments perform. You pick one out. You get in the band program, the orchestra program, and you 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 go through it. Uh, but you know, uh, Tony, I think you ought to look at your your uh, faculty at NEC and look over your shoulder a bit. I mean, if if you think that they're going to uh, be told to raise up musicians based on what else they can do besides music, I mean, uh, it sounds like to me you're wanting to go back to the uh, late 1800s when, in order to have to to to, uh, to have a job as a musician, you know, you you had you you could play music, but you also had to juggle. You had to 
you know, you had to be a fire, you know, you swallow a, 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 you know, sword, or you had to. But you know, you what, musicians really are fantastic, incredible individuals. They're incredibly creative people. I think one of the great problems today is that we have over-specialized. A musician can only do one thing. My experience of musicians is they are magical. They can go out there and they can do a million things incredibly well, and they can transport people to different worlds. But you're they more can, important than we are because you've got more people. money they than we do. They can touch their souls. But we don't get paid for oh, Hold on, hold on, guys. Um, just, I want to bring in uh, Alan and Eric. I mean, what we're seeing is a, a, a great change in the consumption of music, a consumption of electronic media. And um, you know, with the internet television, uh, now it's, it's, it's what, where it's going is content and delivery. There's content and then there, you'll, you'll consume it, uh, it across all platforms. You'll, you'll uh, you know, uh, listen to a song in the shower or you know, on the subway, on the go. Um, and how we, how we address that, how we monetize that is, of course, a concern that we musicians have. But it's interactive now, and uh, the feedback is immediate. And so you know, how we understand how that happens is, is important. Uh, it's the licensing of, of the content. It'll always be now, from, from, from now on, the emphasis will be on how we license that content and how it will be delivered. So we're concerned about how it's monetized, but we're also concerned um, anytime you can do something and achieve a response, uh, then you've got uh, something that can be monetized. And so okay. we're in favor of that. Tony, then. Uh, yeah, if I could uh, leap in here, I think that we should get away from monetizing and we should get away from licensing oh, and we should get away we from all of those complications system. which stop our art form being as visible as it needs to be. I'll give you a specific example. Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra, they started the Digital Concert Hall. I don't know if you've seen it. If you haven't, go online. Fantastic. Thousands of people <coughs> subscribing to be part of that. The musicians receive nothing in terms of payment for that, because they That's believe wonderful. it is their it is their ability to communicate in a different way to a larger audience than the audience just seeing them at the Philharmonie in Berlin. I salute that. Can, can I, I, I think that, 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 the, that, the, that the comment really was about interaction with the audience and being able to listen to the audience and communicate to the audience, have a conversation with them.